Welcome back to the column What Money Is. In the last episode, uh, we were left with the fall of Western Roman Empire in uh, 476 AD, which marked a political turning point in the whole continent, but not the end of the Roman Empire, that we stand still uh, in the East uh, and uh, which in, uh, in the Oriental monetary system concept based on gold. The big deflation and the scarcity of precious metals hit the West, but confirmed the monetary system based on gold in the Eastern Empire, which maintained its, uh, uh, its structure until the 12th AD uh, circa. Scarcity was due to the flow of the metals in India, uh, where uh, there was a more favorable exchange rate than the lack of deposit for a long period. The fall of the Western Empire was a turning point in the world uh, um, for the monetary system and for the old age, then to the Middle Age and the Renaissance, up to the modern age, which in 1971 gave up gold as a meta reference for the currency. This breakthrough uh, represents precisely um, the domain of gold in all of uh, um, uh, its um, developments. The dramatic situation with the uh, uh, final fall of Rome will last centuries in the West, partly because of the lack of a political force capable uh, of restoring a monetary system effectively <coughs> and with uh, central control, also uh, based on the precious metal. This economic collapse not allowed um, the rise of domestic production until uh, uh, Charlemagne in the centuries were lost knowledge and practice, uh, both commercial and productive, not easily to have back without a continuity from generation to generation of this knowledge. Uh, the continuing struggle for the government uh, did not allow um, anyone to restore a social state and a monetary system that could bring back the precious metal in the West much less the exploitation of mines could do uh, that. In, the, in this was able uh, Charlemagne, who uh, with some military conquest, uh, the exploitation of the slaves captured and the discovery of the new mines, imposed, albeit for a short time, a central monetary system are through always depend from gold and foreign exchange rates with the East. This dependence, this dependence made the system, um, the system uh, fragile despite the agreement entered into with both Byzantinium and Jewish uh, merchants returning at the control of trade due to the loss of Byzantine territories in favor of the Arab wave. Jewish then settled in uh, Narbonne in France. Charlemagne was able to obtain a um, certain independence uh, from the Emperor of the East uh, through uh, always with his content, uh, consent for a uh, minting. But the flow of capital to the East where um, the exchange rate was always monopolized by private merchants established in France left uh, the West fragile uh, through he had returned to an acceptable level of assets in gold, while the coinage um, metal less valuable um, and the abundant uh, as the bronze was abandoned, um, as well as the nominal value by law of the currency, which from that moment had an intrinsic value marking it uh, subject to the market protection. Acting on a lesser or greater amounts of precious metals on the market through the minting of coins before with a metal and then another, um, the merchants could therefore uh, devalue or overvalue the currency of the states should determine the trend of the money market. The Roman concept of nomisma uh, based on uh, on the conventional value of the currency was completely lost along with uh, um, all the knowledge that made great the city of Rome. 
With the death of Charlemagne and the weakening of the Roman Empire of the East, which lost part of the territories conquered by the Arabs, the new Republic of Venice took advantage of the new situation. In fact, uh, it broke the ban on trade with the Muslim world imposed by the Eastern Emperor and took control of the exchange ratio of gold and silver in the West. This and his, uh, his naval force allow uh, it to be the first Italian power since Rome, freeing herself from the control of foreign states. Um, but now the monetary system based on gold, law and controllable, um, it was established in the new, in the new world and Venice had effective control in the West. From here, it will um, begin uh, a new race to the Oriental gold. We are delicate balance in the West consists of many kingdoms, all pretenders to succeed um, on the throne of the Holy Roman Empire. In this context, uh, the Arab lands, uh, which um, stretched uh, along the major commercial nodes um, to the east, were vital to distribute power to the feudal system and take control of the change rate uh, between the East and the West. Arabs indeed had conquered much of the Northern America and the Middle East up to Spain, minting the currencies outside of any Western control. Um, Hence the need uh, of the Crusades um, that will bring in Europe the first financial instrument of the Middle Ages. In this period, from Charlemagne to the Crusades, uh, Venice managed to take control of the exchange rate between the gold and silver in the Western part of the world, but it was never reintroduced uh, the numisma, uh, of which it had lost the concept uh, while it was uh, underwent speculative attempt with mixed um, success, which offer, uh, managed to avoid thanks to the good knowledge of the monetary mechanism. <clears throat> Some attempt to establish a sort of numisma will be made only during the 12th and 13th century, but without much, much conviction. Um, the control of the change rate and its relation with the Muslim world still uh, put Venice in a particular situation in the centuries of the Crusades, um, where its geopolitical strategy would play uh, a decisive role. If Venice uh, looked uh, to the east, in Europe, it has been established a feudal system with um, numerous lords, um, under the papal influence in struggle for power. The greed of the East Gold is controlled and that of uh, direct trade routes uh, to India was certainly a reason for the crusade, much of the religious pretext. Control of Jerusalem was in fact still strategic for the Western monetary system for the role that the city had in fact uh, of uh, precious metal traffic. In the two a century of the Christian Crusades was in fact undertaken a persecution of the Jews to gain a monopoly of trade, especially of precious metals, uh, metals put into cash between the Muslim and Christian wars, connecting um, directly with the West Indies, um, lands of primary importance in all production, such as those uh, of spices and slaves. The extermination of the civilian population throughout, um, not only Jewish, sized in the city of Jerusalem was necessary for the hoarding of gold and the connection with the East, which would be uh, repeated uh, across Europe to break the centuries-old Jewish monopoly between East and West. The off, to offer the opportunity of full control over the minting of gold coins, that was still a, a specific prerogative uh, of the uh, Eastern Emperor forbidden for the papacy, it was the weakness at the time of the um, Byzantine Empire. The Fourth Crusade in uh, 1204 that saw the capture um, of Constantinople uh, by the some Christian crusaders 
market at the end of the prerogative uh, of the city in the control of the minting of gold coins in the West. That control continuously perpetrates since the division of empire into macro states. Um, this uh, was the most important historical events in terms of money. Um, this, explain, uh, this explain why uh, Christians uh, plundered the most important Christian city in the Middle East. Um, the loss of the uh, ex exclusive legal power of Constantinople in minting gold coins arose in Europe a multitude of uh, uh, means, uh, state means, which minted coins without having to ask for more permissions uh, uh, to the Emperor of the East. The capture of uh, uh, Constantinople sets the monetary base of Italian Renaissance uh, also based on the schism between the Church of Rome and the Orthodox Byzantine Empire, leaving to the papacy the control over the money. Um, the Basileum, uh, monetary and religious power of the East, lost the exclusive right to mint gold coin for the West in favor of uh, Lateranum of Rome, even, um, even though this was not able to coin a sufficient quantity for the wall of Europe, also for the weakness of his army. Um, the Pope was forced um, to delegate an increasing number of small European states uh, to, dividing, uh, to divide the issue. Constantinople was plundered of all of the gold and silver, not only coin, but also manufactured uh, for uh, public works, bringing a large quantity in Europe as they were um, in the days of uh, um, Empire, Imperial Rome. Another um, occurrence of primary importance since the First Crusade was the establishment of the uh, Knight uh, Templar, who in uh, little time not only acquired enormous wealth, but set an intensive trade by introducing the first banking uh, instruments, thanks to a branching of deposits throughout Europe uh, with which they could move money with simple bill of exchange. This can be considered um, the beginning of a banking system uh, itself, made by Templars, along with uh, Venetian merchants, the most favorite of the sacking of Constantinople uh, with the Calatan merchants, um, in close relation with the Arabs since the Muslim conquest of the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, the Order of the Templar said um, in the First Crusade on uh, 1096 acquired uh, the knowledge typical of this financial system and in particular uh, of the Eastern uh, Jewish. They knew, uh, for example, the Mamre, the first paper money known in the Mediterranean um, that was established by uh, the Jewish since the time of Moses as the Bible tells us, um, consisting um, of a certified uh, gold guarantee by all the Jewish people. This could be provided without endorsement that was found in, in the case of the future bank notes for goods, uh, works and more. Financial innovation introduced by the Semper provides the basis for the banking system and uh, few Italian merchants who had founded the house of gold trading uh, early adopted this innovation, giving rise to the first true banks of history, powerful enough to be able to finance entire states. Uh, the Venetian Institute, uh, um, the example of Templar, cash uh, deposits and loans uh, along the shipping route in their territories on the current Adriatic coast of former Yugoslavia. The Templars soon uh, had the French treasury management with the uh, task of tax collection. Their money was provided to the um, states uh, and money movement were fluid and fast thanks to, um, to a new financial innovation learned in uh, Jerusalem. We Constantinople, with the Constantinople's um, defeat, the Templars took the reins 
of the business and they exchange a ratio of gold and silver with the indices. In order to receive payment in Europe in silver, then to be exchanged with Indian gold at the radio two eyes than, um, than of Europe. The, uh, this was possible thanks to the extensive uh, uh, branches uh, of agency in Europe and the early land and uh, to uh, the travel of pilgrim to Jerusalem. The pilgrim uh, used deposit silver at the depart um, in their land to receive gold on arrival in the Holy Land, but at the Western Radio, while Templars changed the silver with India, but at the Eastern Radio, uh, double and more favorable. Um, backwards, um, instead, pilgrims um, deposit gold in the holy lands and receive silver in Europe at the radio uh, of less than the than, uh, what exemplars obtain in India. The gain was about uh, um, 100% in both areas of transaction. Uh, the global uh, control of the route of gold between India and Europe made reach the order. And it was this, without resorting uh, uh, unprobable, amazing discoveries, the reason of enrichment so quick to suggest uh, finding secrets. Um, the control over the exchange ratio with the Indies was uh, held more long um, hidden from the time of Alexander the Great, who learned the secret, then uh, teaching it to the uh, Ptolemies until the 16th century, when the paper money started to become important in the US. But on this radio, uh, there were geostrategic struggles for centuries, thanks to the financial power that could create. Um, the branching of agencies um, scattered over a vast territory um, allowed the precious metal to travel with speed, and precision, uh, which ensure a substantial gain in both the foreign and change and in the commissions. Um, the other uh, merchants of gold, also no heavy control in the exchange radio with the East, imitated uh, the agency system and bill of exchange uh, um, and soon founded the first bank of modern conception expanding uh, expanding the financial instrument of Templars. The agency uh, that were previously only deposits had transfer function on the money uh, through bill of exchange. Uh, later also began lending activity becoming through private banks. We all know the end of the order of Templars of which uh, we have many uh, testimonies, uh, including their hypothetical escape in Scotland and Switzerland. Remaining in the field of uh, hypothesis, uh, we can be uh, note that Scotland will then start, or um, will will be uh, then start of many innovation of modern banking and monetary system, including the funding of the Bank of England but also the Scottish right. Uh, Switzerland instead uh, then had a strong development of the banking sector. The fall of Constantinople uh, and its imperial um, monetary system, uh, which lasted 12 centuries, and the end of the Templar opened uh, a bit of struggle for money power initially between uh, uh, feuds and them among uh, bankers in the Middle Ages and uh, the Renaissance. <clears throat> the power uh, shift uh, first in Italy, then in Holland, and then in England, where it was uh, definitely established a small group of banking dynasties. Uh, initially, with the accession of England in Europe, many land loaners um, had the right to coin gold in their mind. Um, thus dispersing uh, the power of money, and this gave many lander I uh, to to many land landlords I rents uh, to put back into circulation a uh, gold, however little the fees payable in gold coins will be used to repay the metal coins 
of uh, lower weight, but uh, with the same nominal value in order to make money and reinvest uh, the profit of the issue. The Lord could also increase or decrease the weight of the coins depending on its cash needs and its receivable or available. Um, when he was creditor, he increased the intrinsic value to the Christ when he owned um, the power to coin money, uh, then gave to the Lord the chance to establish with uh, precision uh, the time of debt payment and tax collection by deciding on the amount and quantity of issues. In the late Middle Ages begin another phenomenon um, that has not happened since the days of the flourish uh, Imperial Rome, with the lords uh, who invest their gold in the lands within the boundaries of the city, uh, turning farm lands into buildings and giving life to the phenomenon of state municipalities, uh, then protagonist in the Italian Renaissance. This proof uh, about the population growth uh, of cities, a uh, craft corporation economy that was later described as the beginning of the centralization of capitalism and the subtraction to the citizen of the work, means of production and knowledge. Another important phenomenon uh, happened uh, in the Middle Age where uh, the free uh, trade fairs in different cities with financial uh, products introduced by the Templar, um, adopted also by traders in those fairs, um, where instead of the coins, it began to be created open accounts to be closed only at the end of the day, or even exported to other city with affiliated uh, fairs. This allowed um, to redeem cash balance periodically um, without the monetary transaction for each purchase, um, but simply by uh, give and take monthly accounting uh, written and agreed by trustee letters, which produce, which produce a kind of imaginary paper money uh, based on real money that could, be, could also be exchanged between merchants according uh, to their convenience. Uh, it was born this way, in this way, the accounting books, uh, which then adopted the, by bankers, gave them the ability to create money accounts, marking a turning point for the financial system to come. Uh, Bruges in France, present-day Belgium, was one of the locations of the most important fairs, where the accounting system of books became um, a custom so consolidated that later we lay the foundation for the emergence uh, uh, of the stock exchange market. The first was created in Belgium, in uh, Antwerp, in uh, 1531, as a um, direct consequence of the financial activity in place in the fairs. Uh, the medieval term Borzan derived uh, from the name of an important family of Venetian uh, merchants, the La Borza, moving France to be named Van de Boers, in was house where held the meeting for the negotiation and um, pricing of goods. The fairs, in fact, um, as a place of exchange and trade, also had the possibility of uh, uh, beginning um, and the elements that will join the medieval fairs on the stock exchange will be just the practice uh, of uh, periodic payment of accounts, the compensation of the difference, the settlement of the balance and the negotiation of price. Um, the immediate uh, intrusion of the bankers in the face, albeit uh, initially beneficial for the business, had strong consequences in speculative economies as early as the 17th uh, century, when Amsterdam experienced the first bubble in history of capitalism in February 1637, with the collapse of the uh, tulips price flower at that time consider a luxury item. Um, accounting system such as those of Bruges were the custom in almost all large European commercial cities, 
which soon became a free trade zone um, favored uh, by local feudal lords who often keep control over the minting of the good coin. But more about that, in, I will uh, say in the next episode, um, I greet you in, in the next week. If you like it today, please help me um, in my research with a donation to my blog, uh, Daniele Pace, blog, uh, UK dot blog spot, uh, where you may buy also my book. Uh, thank you very much to all.